So I was seeing this guy for a bit, and he said to me, why would I ask you to be my girlfriend when we've only hung out a few times? Huh, interesting question. I don't know, maybe it's uh, me driving an hour and a half to spend the weekends with you, because during the week I have my kids. You know, my list of requirements for an ideal partner might sound like a tall order. That's because I am a tall order. If you want all this, you gotta match me. So it might sound like I'm looking for a unicorn. That's because I am a motherfucking unicorn. I keep getting asked, why am I single? And I know a lot of you guys are like, it's a choice. What choice? Last time I checked, my Bumble dating profile said, that's everyone. <laughs> it's cuffing season, it's cold outside. I just need a big teddy bear to keep me warm at night. You know what I mean? Because the only thing keeping me warm right now are these heated seats in this vehicle. And I ain't got nowhere to go except work. Ain't that a bitch? It's a very sad situation. <laughs> I don't know, maybe the love of my life got stuck in a condom somewhere. Who knows, maybe he didn't, and he's running out there, pulling a push door. Every time somebody tries to make fun of me for being single or ask me why I'm still single or makes me feel bad for it, I remember this man. We all have one. And I remind myself that I am single by choice. Because rest assured, if I wanted to date somebody, I could exhibit A. Give a big round of applause to social media and TikTok such a wonderful creation it exposes women for who they truly are all those lies you were told as a young boy that women were so faithful and angelic and they could do no wrong no they're not these pure nice clean creatures matter of fact they're dirty their body is dirty their mind is dirty uh, they need mental help they need psychiatric therapy they need to actually go see someone to be prescribed medication because they're out here in the world and they're making decisions and they're doing these different things without any sort of guidance. And that's where us men comes into play. See, so many women think that being strong and independent and being this courageous woman is, is the right thing to do. But it wears on them because their body, their mind, their souls, their emotions aren't built for the wilderness. They're not built to be outside in the cold and and out there grinding and competing with us men, they can't compete with us. Their minds aren't built for that. Their bone structures are built for that. They're not strong enough mentally, physically, psychologically. They can't do what us men can do. They can't withstand the beating of the world. They can't, they can't even handle rejection. <laughs> this is why women will never be equal to us. They can say, I, I can live a hot girl summer or, and I don't want to be under a man and all these different things. But you see the ramifications. You see the consequences of these women. Look into all their eyes. They're yearning. They're basically begging, pleading, saying, I need a man. But they're also conflicted because the media, the magazines, heck, how they were raised by these different women and watching these reality shows that uh, go ahead, be a single woman. Be strong and independent. All the single ladies, leave that man. So when they do that, they're going to suffer because long term women aren't built to be out here doing whatever they're doing. This is why you see so many women making all these videos and crying and begging and pleading for for mercy, saying, help me, please. I, I, I want to be with the man. I, I'm tired of paying bills. I'm tired of doing it on my own. I don't want to go through life like this. Yeah, see, they drunk that Kool-Aid. They took the wrong medicine, they swallowed the wrong, the wrong pill, and now they have to suffer. Because over time, sleeping around as a woman, hooking up, dating this man, dating that man, it never works for them long term. It just erodes their mind, it, it, it wears on them, it breaks them down, and then they look up, they're 30 years old, 32, 35, 40, and they're still out there on the dating market. No woman truly wants to be out there dating a ton of men but so many are so used to exchanging this guy out going on this date with this dude doing this doing that they can't even settle down they don't even know how to pick a guy because they're so mentally unstable exchanging energies with this dude hooking up with this dude 
got a side dude for that to do that have a dude over here paying uh, for a date and this all these different uh, situations that these women have going on with men and on top of that they have to try to juggle school juggle useless degrees and and go to a job that they don't really like that doesn't pay well now mix all that into a pot on top of that a woman's emotions and how mentally unstable she is and how chaotic she is listen she will never survive she will lose her mind I i'm surprised there's not a lot of women who are just popping tons of medication i know they are behind closed doors but it's getting out of hand and women will suffer they're gonna come back to the table and say hey you know i'm ready to settle down what do i need to do now most women think that they can have their cake and eat it too they can sleep around they can do this they can do that then then okay i'm ready to get off the carousel of, of riding different pipes and getting smashed and now i'm ready to i'm ready for a boyfriend i'm ready for marriage but it doesn't work like that heck i don't feel bad or sorry for women i don't have any remorse or sympathy for them at all for being single listen to the last female she's showing you a text thread of a guy that she curved that basically would do everything for her i'm positive that would want to take her out and treat her right but she's looking for that top tier dude and that's what most women want they want a specific type of guy see us men we're pretty flexible right she has a little bit of shape maybe she's a couple pounds overweight or underweight maybe you know she's not necessarily our ideal type but us men we say okay you know she's cooperative she's feminine and sex and, and we're pretty much sold for the most part women they want a guy who's taller than them makes more money than them funnier than them better shaped than them can give them a big house can give them a big diamond ring take them shopping take them on trips go with the in-laws must love dogs i mean the, the standards are and expectations from these women are just absolutely bananas this is why they're getting pumped and dumped this is why dudes are just you know hanging out and hooking up and selling them a dream and and saying hey you know i'm just having fun and everything because men don't want to pay the price of being with these lunatics they don't want to get out there and, and and actually deal with these women long term. So, so many women are get, being pumped and dumped by Chad, Pookie, Tyrone, Ray Ray, these alpha male, these good looking dudes. And these men are feasting and these women are confused and wondering, where are all the good guys at? <laughs> well, you they're in the friend zone. They're there where you left them at. Every woman wants a guy who is extremely successful, who's really attractive who can give them the world, who wants to settle down for them. But think about it. Why should a man become successful and work hard and build his body just to settle down with little old you? That one woman who's going to nag and complain him, who's going to withhold sex. So men are starting to see the writing on the wall and say, why should I settle down? What do I get out of it? I mean, I don't need to settle down with little old you. We could just hang out and have a fling. We could just hook up and a lot of these women are they're confused and are mad because they're like, am I not good enough? No, you're not good enough. So many women overestimate their value. There's the vast majority of women on this planet are average to below average. There's only a small percentage of women who are above average to really, really attractive. But every woman thinks they're a 10. Thanks to social media, thanks to their friends, thanks to the comment section, all the simps. Every woman thinks she's a supermodel. She can be 300 pounds. She can be 600 pounds. She can be 150 pounds. No matter the weight, no matter how they look, no matter how they act, their mannerisms, every woman thinks that they're God's gift to mankind. And consequently, they're suffering because they're getting a dose of reality. They're, they're waking up. They're saying, oh, man, no dude want to be with me. No, no guys want to be with you. But it's the guys that are on your level. And no woman truly wants to settle. Right? Let's be honest. Women don't like settling. Because it lets them know that, listen, this is your actual market value. This is what you're worth. You're not worth the guy who made six figures, who's six feet tall, who has six-pack abs. You're worth the guy who, you know, possibly makes thirty to 40000 a year. That's probably five foot six, same height as you. That is, you know, um, th that's just a, a genuine loyal guy. There's a lot of quality guys out there uh, who don't make six figures or aren't millionaires. There's good men who could be good fathers and, and good long-term partners. But these women pass up those dudes. They say, I don't want those dudes. Those dudes are, are creeps. Those dudes are lame. And they're going for all these different top-tier men. And the dudes are just pumping and dumping them, hooking up, 
hanging out, having sex. Even a woman that said she was a single mother in the second clip. She was sitting there like, uh, so we hung out. We, I drove an hour and a half to you. We having sex. And, and, and basically, you don't want to be my boyfriend. No, that guy doesn't have to be your boyfriend. He doesn't have to commit to you. He doesn't have to do anything in that. Because he's like, why should I commit to you? And that's what most men are asking. What do I get out of giving my resources, my money, my time, my energy? Why should I? We could just hang out, hook up on a weekend. You come on over here and that's it. See, women don't want to put in the work. They're going to have to start persuading men. And now we're just withholding the sex and dangling it above their head and say, oh, well, you, you're not going to get any cookies. Well, guess what? Sex is everywhere, especially if he's a even an average man can get sex a lot, plenty of sex, believe it or not. Right. Hey, even a below average man, he can go somewhere and pay for it or whatever. If he's not really attractive. See, men can find a way to get sex. They can pay for it. They can learn game. They can do different things. There's a lot of different ways for a man to uh, get what he wants. Right. As far as sex. It's hard for a woman to pay for a man to want to spend time with her. Trust me, it's hard. Matter of fact, there are women out there that will pay for you to want to be with them, to be in a relationship with them. That's how desperate these women are getting. 